this video I'll be showing you guys how to replace wiper blade rubber so instead of replacing the whole wiper blade like most people do which would have cost me about 20 uh, 20 over 20 dollars almost 30 um, which includes this steel part I uh, went ahead and I just bought rubber material wiper rubber from eBay which for four dollars I'll have wiper uh, rubber for the rest of my life because the, uh, the steel part doesn't break it's just we just need to replace the rubber part as you can see this one is all buggered up and so the first the, the hardest part is actually removing the whole blade from the car uh, you have to press down on this tab here some of them you have to press up on the tab actually it's up usually up on the tab um, and then to remove the other part there's a little pin here which depresses another lever which then you just got to twist it out so I'm just going to redo it here so for you guys to see so normally it's like that As you can see the pin is pushed up and it doesn't allow the blade to move I press the pin down it uh, moves out the lever and then just easy as that and then the other side you just uh, slide it out like that I uh, measure the uh, size of the rubber here and then, and then I cut it that easy as that I still have another piece left over now it's the same size I remove the little steel tabs um, that are on this piece of rubber I have to remove them or rather slide them out things are a little bit different some of them are uh, in two pieces. This one. I'm not exactly sure how this one works. Hmm, I wish I had kept the ones with the two pieces of steel. I had it on the other one. Cannot move. Uh, I probably have to slide them off. Okay, I think I got this. Now I'll have to get the knife. I'll be easy. Not one of those things that you can only uh, put it in and you can't remove it. So make sure you're cutting away from you. What the hell happened to my other hand? I had a better knife than this. As soon as I can get it started like that, I can just rip it out like that. Then, 
I haven't actually ever done this this way. I should be able to just twist this. Or see, there's at the end there are uh, round parts. I don't know if you guys can see that. So round holes. And I think my thinking is that insert the rubber through there. Or you see this whole thing just twists so should be able to just put it in. Top rail like this. Twist it, get the rest in. have any twist at the end so I have to slide it it's a little bit work but we'll get there there we go stretch it out get the rest place slide it in there we go I don't know how much you guys out of that but there you go brand new rubber installed then I just slide it in uh, there are different sides it slides in like that so that side is kind of There we go. And then push it in. Let's see if that works. Sure the clip is on the right spot, which is now the pin has to be on the outside. Thank <laughs> you. 
scholarship, but uh, nobody's gonna look at my wipers. Slide it back in like that. Not too hard. Clip in. Clip or the arm, this part goes in. Go. There we go. Then you just literally just push this in into the uh, part of the. No, hell, I'll show you guys. Let's do a complete, complete explanation, eh? Quite literally just. Uh, before I do that, let me show you. Uh, never mind. I had some other set of wipers, but they were too long. Even this one is still a bit too long. Clicks in like that, doesn't come out anymore. And there we go. We changed the uh, wiper rubber in uh, what? 10, 10 minutes, 11 minutes. There you go.